hi guys welcome to part two of my haul you guys remembered when i said this right stay tuned for part two part three and quite possibly part four so today guys it's gonna be an interesting one because i've discovered something surprising and these pieces are absolutely gorgeous so this haul would be a combination of all the piles that I've shown you that I have put together and so a key focus would be the workwear pants as well as the skirts I love this piece right here oh and that orange piece ah oh, it's a definite keeper let's see why items guys so we are going to have some fun trying these on see what fits see what i would probably have to pass on to somebody else or donate to a reputable company for recycling so let's do the try on session guys we have a dress pants hmm. and of course it's also white leg this is a really gorgeous dress piece and surprisingly it fits really well <laughs> the only thing is i think i already have piece in my wardrobe like this and she actually gave me two pieces in this style this dress pants as well as a jeans pants that would be coming up shortly so yeah it's a really great work piece and a great addition to my wardrobe i love the culotte style of it and it's wide leg as well so it's very flattering the top is a gorgeous piece as well um it has this interesting zipper detail at the side that you could zip up or you could leave it unzip but i like it when it's a bit undone because it gives more space and movement so yeah <laughs> even basic pieces she gave to me <laughs> this is the aqua blue to the white top what i realize about these tops um, is that they would be great with leggings or tights. I'm not really a leggings or tights person, but we'll see what we could make do with them. Really, really great pieces, eh? It's a pity some cannot fit, but I really love the ones that do. Sorry to interrupt, guys, but just a quick note. Hi, guys! If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video the next piece is a full leather piece and yes i know it's gorgeous but for leather and dye, yeah, while they look pretty, there are issues with full leather fabric. And we would discuss that below. In the meantime, the top you have seen before, love this top. It's 100% polyester, but it's such a beautiful color and it fits so well that it is a keeper. Here are the dirty facts about polyester, guys. That's why I am advocating that people choose not to insert polyester in your wardrobe. It's not a pretty fabric at all. I mean, some people would find it pretty in terms of how it looks, and maybe it would feel, maybe it would fool you at times because it could feel like silk, but it's not. It's not breathable. Oh it's stifling it's a stifling restrictive fabric so yeah here are the issues with this faux leather pants guys it's falling apart falling apart 
Sorry, I have to demonstrate this in such a crude way. I apologize for the crotch and the buttocks action. But and that's the issue with faux leather that I absolutely hate. These are the facts about faux leather, guys. Yeah. Again, because it's not a natural fiber, it's not sustainable, it's not pretty. And I'm sure that you guys remember these pieces that I've shared with you. And this is what happened to them. First, there are issues when it comes to storage. I stored the black, the green, and the red together on the same hanger. And this is what happened. Because the fabric is so fragile, and yes, I'm quite aware that some faux leather are more sturdier than others, but the fact remains, they are faux leather, and there's no getting around that. These things are be going to be prone to color transfer and to just simply falling apart. And that's exactly what happened to these pieces. As great as they look, they don't last. Worth the environmental impact for such a short-lived fabric. Really, seriously, it's not worth it. It's better if you just go buy second-hand leather. Even if it's not in your style, try as much as possible to maybe upcycle something if you really need leather. But honestly, oh, my feet are really dry. Sorry, guys. Ugh, my problem. By the way, my dry feet are not representative of all black people, okay? <laughs> Just putting that out there. This is my fault. The belt is also a piece from her. She gave me several belts. I love the different colors that she supplied to me and they fit beautifully into my professional wardrobe. I've shared some of these with you guys before. Yes, these belts are really great pieces that I often use to double belt because I love double belting. And they are great professional pieces. Love them. Here's another belt that she also gave to me. Not sure if they're leather. They look like leather. Hmm. Look. They are indeed leather. They are 100% leather. And here are some tips to keep in mind when buying leather items. And guys, while I love broad belts, I also love these tiny belts because I could triple them and make them work for me. Number seven, of course, is the gorgeous skirt. Ah, it's absolutely beautiful. I thought I'll just show you this piece. This I could definitely wear to work whenever work comes around outside of the home so yeah I thought I'll just dress it up this is my own top um, a million years old not a million but you know what I mean so yeah thought I'll show you how I'll style this particular piece and yes I do wear boots in summer it's my thing as well I have no shame in it and I love, I'm in love with this skirt because look at the material, guys. It's silk and viscose. And look at that, look at that little detail flap. Oh, it's a beautiful piece that would stay forever in so my So these are two wardrobe. other pieces that she gave to me. The red pairs really nicely with this. I really love this. I have a style like this before and you guys have seen it throughout my lockdown because I wore it a lot and yeah this is the pants that I have similar to the one she gave me this is linen it's 100% linen that's why it's creasing like this let's 
just say linen is a fabric that just takes all the creases that exist in the world of fabrics. So, But despite all the wrinkles, linen is my top pick for the most sustainable fabric ever. And these are the reasons why it is. This is a great professional piece, but it's a mid-rise piece. It looks great, doesn't it? It's a bit too cropped for me, but it's really, really nice. I like it. I'm definitely reconsidering mid-rise pants. Wow. Who knew? She also knows I love polka dot. And this combo is really, really working for me. I love the combination of the red with the navy blue pants. Oh my God, it's absolutely stunning. So I love, love this pairing. Guys, she also gave me this piece, but it's, it's definitely too snug. It's, it would have been great to add to my collection of animal prints, but I do have a lot of animal prints, so it's okay if this one doesn't fit. I could definitely pass it on to somebody who would enjoy wearing it. But yeah, it's a bit too snug around here. I can't even move. Funny, the waist is big, but the hips... They don't lie on this one as well. <laughs> Definitely don't lie. Yeah guys, the hips on this one do not lie. It is really snug. <sighs> but I do think that it's fitting much better now. So, yeah, I'll definitely show it in a future <laughs> lookbook. It's beautiful. That's it for those two pieces. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, this one doesn't fit. But. So, that's it, guys. Love you. And thank you so much for watching. Remember, always love yourself. Accept your perfect imperfections because... They are what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous. Love you guys and I will see you in the next video.